What is going on YouTube, Champion Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review. And in today's video, I'll be reviewing the Transformers Siege 35th Anniversary um, Classic Animation Voyager Class Optimus Prime. Now setting the figure off to the side, let's take a quick look at the packaging. The packaging is done a little bit differently than what we're used to getting with the Siege uh, boxing design. Um, coming around to the side here. We have Transformers More Than Meets the Eye 35. We've got a nice Autobot insignia here on the side. And it says 1984 to 2019. Coming around to the front of the box here. 1984 Special Edition Transformers Siege. And then you got Transformers Generations to Karatomi. Coming around to this side of the box, we've got that Siege box art that we're used to getting. Um, which is very nice. Very well done artwork. Coming around to the top of the box, we've got a nice Autobot insignia and then Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy. Coming around to the bottom, it's just warnings and stuff. Coming around to the back of the box, we've got Classic Animation Optimus Prime. Uh, Transformers More Than Meets the Eye, 35, 1984 to 2019. Function Autobot Leader, and it's got a picture of him in his robot mode, his vehicle mode, and that he transforms in 27 steps. And that's about it for the packaging. So setting the box off to the side. He does come with a uh, few accessories. He comes with his uh, ion blaster. Which if my camera will focus. What? Focus. Focus. There we go. There we go. Good camera. <laughs> but um, it's done very nicely. Some beautiful molded in detail. It's got some cell shading going across the top. Very nicely done. He does come with a shield as well. Um, this shield does uh, have a, it does transform, which is pretty cool, which I'll get into here in a second. Now, I think on the original Siege Prime figure, I'm pretty sure the Autobot insignia was painted silver on this. But it's got some nice um, cell shading going across the front and on the back. Now, it does transform, as I just mentioned. You take the handle here, and you fold this down, and then you take this little silver tab here and push that in. And then fold out that this little blade piece here and fold out this blade piece here. There's a little tab that'll help you pull that out. And then uh, here we have his battle axe. This is cool. I love this weapon. This is so cool. I really do like it. It's got some nice silver paint, uh, nice silver paint details on it. Very nice. I do like it. And then he comes with a warning sheet. Okay. It's random. I don't know why they included that. But then he does come with his um, instruction manual, which is done with light gray, gray uh, normal gray, and red. So, there you go. Bring the figure back into view. Here we have Optimus Prime in his truck mode. And truck mode is done very nicely. Um, this is repainted after the Siege uh, Voyager class Optimus figure. And repainted to make it look like, make it look like he popped out off the screen from the 1980s cartoon and they did a good job with this figure and I really do like it they're trying to capture this animation look to him and they did a really good job um it sort of reminds me of the Transformers Devastation game but you know I think they did a good job with it I really do like this figure now coming in to take a closer look at details you've got some nice cell shading going across the front of the cab there especially on the windshields and whatnot um, got a nice Autobot insignia here on the side. Um, his front wheels are pin are pin wheels, which is very nice. Kind of rare to see those nowadays. You got some silver paint on the smokestacks there. Um, the tail lights are molded and painted very nicely. I really do like that. Got some more cell shading back here. Some nice silver paint on the top of those will become his shins in robot mode. Now this is again based off the Siege Voyager Optimus Prime, so he does have like this alien esque like pre Earth truck mode. So I mean, I I can excuse it. I like this truck mode. I really do like this figure, and I think it's really good. Now you can store his weapons. He has two Siege ports on top, um, two on each side, and then he has two on the smokestack. So um, you can store his weapon, and then he's got a port right here on the back, which in the instructions it tells you to fold up his axe and then store it on the back. Now, for whatever reason, my axe on my figure just does not stay into place. Now, what you can do is there's a port on top of his rifle. You can plug that into place and then plug that onto his uh, that port in the back, and then it'll stay in and secure. 
me personally, I just leave it off to the side. Um, but you can do whatever you want. Um, you know, you ha you have options with this figure. So yeah, for size comparison, let's bring in a Siege Deluxe Class figure. This is Deluxe Class Hound. Um, and as you can see, these figures scale pretty well with each other. I think they look good together. Give you a little bit of a top profile. I think a uh, Jeep like this would scale similar to this. Um, again, these are both pre-Earth vehicle modes, so they're not exactly earthly. Um, let's bring in my next review, which will be Siege, um, the classic animation Megatron. And as you can see, I think these two scale, I think these two scale pretty good together. I think a tank should be a lot bulkier as it is. Um, so, um, I think these two scale really well together. I'm trying to show you. Megatron's a lot bulkier. Prime is a little bit thinner being a truck, but, um, I think these two look good together. Definitely. Now, one thing I really wish you could do is uh, that port on the back. I did try to connect my Power of the Prime Leader Class Optimus trailer with this. Unfortunately, it does not work. The trailer is too short and too small, but you can display him like this if you like, and that does look okay. This front wheel sort of, the trailer sort of angles up a little bit. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, there is that. So that's everything for the vehicle mode. Let's go ahead and cover the transformation of robot mode. It, it's transformation. He's got quite a complex transformation, but it's kind of fun. So to start the transformation off, we're going to take these tabs here on the side, and we're going to fold these out, just like so. And then we're going to come to the wheels here, and we're going to fold these down so we can get some clearance. Well, we actually need to fold them down because, again, clearance. Then what we're going to do is take these tabs here and fold them out. And fold them down just a little bit, Don't not all the way. And then these tabs right here, these little panels, make sure you got clearance. Again, it's all about clearance. <laughs> Fold these tabs out right here. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the windshield here. So we can release, we can open up the windshield. Then we'll take these sections here and fold them and untab that. And then that will allow, later allow you to move this whole cap section up. But then what we're going to do is take the arms here and fold them out a little bit from the side. So we can go ahead and start getting some clearance. There we go. Make sure all this is folded up and out of the way. There we go. And then we can take this whole cab section or the top of the cab here and fold that up. Then we can go ahead and take his robot head and pull that out. And then make sure my camera's focused. Then we can go ahead and close the chest up and have that into place. Once you do that, once you've done that, you can take the arms and finish folding them forward. And then we take these sections here and we fold them inwards towards the inside of his arm. Because if you do it the other way, it's not going to lay flush on the inside of his um, arm. So we're just going to do that on both sides and then fold these panels on the side of his arms down. Just like so. Then, I think this is pretty cool. Take these wheels and fold them. They're on a double hinge, right? Well, actually, there's three different hinges. One here, one here, and one here. We're just going to collapse that to the inside of Optimus. And that, I think, is really cool. I think that really helps fill out the figure, and it just helps the overall aesthetic of the figure. Then, be careful with this, but you're going to take this waist section and fold it down, but that little pin is the only thing holding this section in place, and it's connected by those two tabs, so just whenever you're folding this section down, be very careful. Don't manhandle it or anything. Just be very delicate with that. Then we're going to come around to the back of the legs here. We're going to fold these caps down, just like so. Then we can go ahead and separate the legs, and then take these... Uh, make, make, yep take these wheel well sections here and then we're going to rotate those around and then take this section here fold that down and then there is a panel that will fold out from this panel right here and you're going to fold that around and there's a tab right here that will tab into that tab hole right there so we're just going to do that on both sides then we can fold out the feet then we can rotate the leg then we're going to repeat that same process on the other leg so fold this around fold this down and then fold this panel out and then tab that into place and then fold his feet out and rotate the shin around just like so. Then we straighten the robot arms out. For the backpack, what we're going to do is we're going to take this white section here. We're going to fold that inwards and then we're going to take these two um, side panels and fold them in and then collapse this whole section on top of itself. 
and then take this hinge here, right here, fold that down until it stops, and then rotate this whole section around, and then these two tab holes, whoops, sorry, these two tab holes right here will tab into these two tabs right there, so just like that. And then after that transformation, straighten the figure out, make sure he's all cleaned up. Here we have Transformer Siege Optimus Prime in his robot mode. And after that transformation, granted it is complex, we end up with a very, very impressive looking Optimus Prime figure in robot mode. Oh my word, I am absolutely blown away with this figure. This is phenomenal. He looks amazing in this robot mode. In this look, it just looks great and just looks amazing just standing there by himself. Now, coming in to take a closer look at details, we do have some, we do have the um, tail lights on his toes that transferred over from his vehicle mode to his robot mode, which I, I, I do like. I think it looks pretty cool. Some nice silver paint on the shins, some more of that cell shading. We got some yellow on the forearms and on the waist piece. Um, some nice cell shading on the um, abdomen area or in the stomach area. And got some more cell shading on his chest we got that nice Autobot logo and then his head sculpt is oh my word that head sculpt is phenomenal I mean just the blue eyes it just looks amazing got some so shading going on on the face and that's just an amazing head sculpt I mean just wow setting the figure back um precise comparison Optimus Prime is also very well articulated um, for articulation. He's got a ball joint at the head. He can look up and down, not too great, but he can look full 360 left and right. He's got a full 360 at the shoulder. Um, his shoulder pad can move. His, the smokestack can move outward, so you can get some good movement at the shoulder. Um, he's got a bicep swivel, full 360. Then he's got a bend at the um, elbow. And then he's got a wrist swivel, full 360. Um, and then after the transformation, like the hinge here, that hinge, even though they they had to do that for the transformation, they still added in a waist swivel. He's got a full 360 waist swivel. What? How? I, I, okay. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. He can kick forward that far. Can kick back that far. He can kick out pretty far. He's got a thigh swivel, swivel, full 360 swivel at the knee, and some pretty good knee articulation. And then he's got an ankle tilt. This figure is amazing. I, I, I'm shocked with how well done this figure is. I mean, it is, like, really good. Like, I'm very impressed. I... I am very, very impressed. Now, he can hold his accessories. Um, he can hold his ion blaster, like so. And then he does have a port on the side of his arm, which, if you have a shield, you can plug that into place. Me, personally, I think the shield looks kind of weird. So, um, if I do choose to display him with this weapon, I usually have it in battle axe mode. But I'm, I, don't usually use, I don't usually use this for Siege Prime. I might use it for another figure, but, I mean... You gotta admit, that looks pretty cool. I mean, that that looks pretty cool. Like, <laughs> that is awesome. Um, yeah. Pulling this out of his hand real quick. Let's do size comparisons. Um, here he is next to Siege Hound. As you can see, these two scale fairly nice together, I think. I think these two look good together. Here he is next to his rival Megatron. Um, as you can see, I think these two look good together. I really, I really do like these two standing side by side. They look, they look good together. Um, Megatron, I think they scale pretty well together. I don't have that folded down all the way. Whoops. There we go. Sorry, a little bit of mistransformation there. My bad. Sorry about that. I think these two do look 
incredibly good together. I really do like how these two look side by side. Um, like I said, Siege Megatron will be my next review. And yeah, do I recommend Siege Prime? That would be an understatement. I, I love this figure. This is a great figure. The only drawback, like literally the only thing I have negative against this figure is that transformation hinge. It's held on that one pin on those two pieces of plastic. That, that scares me. I think I'll be fine if I, I think you'll be fine as well if you get this figure. I think you'll be fine as long as you just be gentle with it and gentle with the figure in general. But overall, this is just a fantastic figure. Yes, he has a little bit of kibble on his back and on his arms, but, I mean, it doesn't do that much. It doesn't work that much against the figure, and it's just so minimal. I'm really, I'm really willing to overlook it, and, I mean, it's just an amazing figure. I, I absolutely love this figure. It looks amazing. It looks cool, and, um, yeah. So, overall, do I recommend Transformers Siege at 35th Anniversary Voyager Class Optimus? So, overall, do I recommend Siege at Voyager Class Optimus? So, overall, do I recommend the 35th Anniversary Siege Optimus Prime? Yes, absolutely. If you can get this figure, I strongly recommend that you do. It's a great looking figure. If you're an Optimus Prime fan or a Transformer collector in general, it is almost a must have. But guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed. If so, be sure to click like. Be sure to comment what you think of Siege Optimus in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me. Champion Productions, signing off.